Hi, Rob here from the Internet Freedom Team at Freedom House. Now you've really been enjoying using Tor, and you like the fact that it's protecting your security and privacy online. But one day, you go to turn on the Tor service, and it doesn't work. What does this mean? Well, this means that your country, or more specifically, the ISP you're connected to, is filtering all of the known Tor relays in your area. Well, we need a way to get around this in order to continue being secure and anonymous online. So, Tor has come up with what they refer to as bridge relays. Now, bridge relays, or bridges, are relays that aren't listed in the main Tor directory. And because there's no public list of them, that means that your ISP probably doesn't know that they exist, and they're probably not filtering them. So connecting to the Tor network through one of these bridge lay relays is the best way to get around your ISP filtering the known Tor relay network. So let me show you how to access the Tor bridge relays. Okay, so the first thing you want to make sure of is that you actually have the Tor software. Now, I explained how to uh, download and install the Tor software in a different tutorial. But just for a quick little recap, if you want to get it and you don't have it already, go to www.torproject.org, click on the download tab, and then download the, either the browser bundle or the Vidalia bundle. In this case, I'm going to be using the Vidalia bundle, but it works the same with both, so you can still follow along with my directions. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about the bridges before we get started, you can go to www.torproject.org slash bridges. And this will give you an overview of what the bridges are and tell you how to get to them. So right now, since there's a little useful information to this that I'm, that I'm going to be using a little bit later in the tutorial, I'm going to minimize that. So the first thing we want to do is actually open up the software, or start the software, sorry. Going to go to the Fidelia bundle and start the user interface. Now mine is going to connect to the Tor service, but that's because I'm not in an area that's blocking the Tor uh, relay system. So I'm just going to let that go. And what you want to do first is go into settings. Now, you go into settings and you click the network tab. And right here where it says my ISP blocks connections to the Tor network, you want to check that box. And it's going to bring up this. So here is add a bridge. And this here is a dialog box that will be full of the um, bridges that you found for your area. Now, the more bridges you have, the better. If you have one bridge, that's fine. You'll get connected to the Tor network. But if your ISP ever figures out that that uh, connection is a bridge and they block it, you'll be out of luck. So the more you have, the better. Now there's one very easy way to get a bridge going. There's a button down here that says find bridges now. Click this button and it'll try to find bridges in your area. So I have three. Now it'll connect to any of these. You just have to click OK and Obviously, since I'm already connected, it didn't really need to use the bridge. But let's say that it, you can't find any in the area or you want to add more. So this is where we're going to go back into torproject.org slash bridges. And down here in the section called Finding More Bridges for Tor, it gives you information. Now that information comes in the form of an email address that you can send a request to and have Tor actually send you some of the like bridges in your area. So what we want to do is copy this email address. So I'm going to go here and copy bridges at torproject.org. Copy. Now before you leave the page, you want to make sure you read the whole thing. And it's a good thing we do because it says you want to send an email to bridges at torproject.org, but you have to add the line get bridges in the body of the email. They also say that you need a Gmail account to do it. And I have a Gmail account, so I'm going to go to www.gmail.com. Okay, you're going to want to sign in. <clears throat> now, a good thing about Gmail is that it uses HTTPS encryption. So, if you want, if you don't already have a Gmail account, it's best that you move your your email over to Gmail because of the encryption. So, we're going to go to Compose Mail, and we're going to paste bridges at torproject.org, 
And just to make sure that I've put it in the right place, I'm going to put get bridges in both the subject line and the body of the email. And then I'm going to click send. Okay. Now all we have to do is wait for the email to show up. Okay, so as you can see, Tor has sent us back an email about the bridges. So we're going to go into the email, and they give you information again on how to use these with the Tor uh, program. Well, what we're going to do is copy each one of these individually. So I'm going to highlight this one, copy it, and then I'm going to open up the Tor Vidalia user interface, go back into settings, go back to network, and then where it says add a bridge, you're going to paste the bridge and then click the green cross over here and that adds the bridge to your list of bridges and that's really all there is to setting up a Tor bridge now the Tor bridge relays are not just important for people whose ISP has blocked the regular Tor network but it's also important for people who live in countries where using anonymity software is frowned upon and the reason it's important is because these bridge relays are not immediately uh, associated with Tor. They're, because they're not listed on Tor's public network, it's harder to find out that they're actually bridging the connection between your computer and the regular Tor network. So it might be better for people who live in countries where it's frowned upon to use the Tor bridge relays in order to connect to the Tor network so that you can protect your privacy and your security online. So I hope you now have a better understanding of how to get around your ISP filtering the Tor network so that you can continue to enjoy the security and the privacy that the Tor network offers you.